Do you ever feel that pressure society puts on you to always be succeeding in a world where it seems like no one ever makes mistakes? It's like we're always expecting ourselves to be better than everyone else and not failing or making mistakes. And, and when we do make mistakes, I think we start to form these ideas that maybe this isn't for us or maybe we just have to get our lives together again. It's like we can't talk about the one thing that we have in common. We're kind of a mess and we don't really have much idea on what's going on. And despite always wanting perfection, we're probably closer to the opposite. I've always seen failure as something to be avoided. Failure seems like something to be embarrassed and ashamed about. Like failing at something just shows that you yourself are a failure. Honestly, this video was supposed to be a Byron Bay travel vlog, which I've been wanting to do for so long now. But when it came to it, I became so scared of making something which wasn't good enough and making mistakes that I ended up making nothing, except shooting a few of these clips. I think the constant exposure we get to brilliance and people who are just generally great at what they do makes it seem like being mediocre and making mistakes just isn't acceptable. But I think when we see these stories of people who have truly mastered craft, we forget that they started at the exact same place that we did. And <laughs> cliche enough, the only way they got better was through failure. For the longest time now, I've held this belief that maybe my fear of failure was a good thing because maybe it'd make me try harder and want to fail less. But I think my ideas about this have changed. I think the fear of failure holds you back because you become okay with just doing the things you are comfortable with. This means you get really good at the things you are comfortable with, but there isn't really any room for growth elsewhere. I think there's this belief now that being mediocre or being average is like this terrible thing. It's like, what's the point of living if you're mediocre and you're just like everyone else? That's a bit over the top, but I do think we have this societal fear of being mediocre and being average which isn't necessarily a bad thing because who really wants to be average? But ironically, I think this mindset can make failure seem so unacceptable and terrible that ironically, the fear of being mediocre can possibly make us actually become mediocre. As cliche as it sounds, and I'm kind of laughing that I'm actually saying these words out loud, but I think we need to embrace failure. I think we're told far too often that in order to have a good life, we need to always be happy and always have our life together. But I think instead of trying to make our lives seem so put together and perfect, we can kind of welcome the idea of just being terrible at some things. Because I think often we feel like a failure because we're so afraid to fail. I think there is a stigma with the word mistake. I feel like it is the biggest reason that people quit doing something or stop trying because they view mistakes as if they're a bad thing and something which is setting you back from achieving what you want to achieve. But I actually think mistakes are the best thing that can happen to you if you're trying to learn. And the sooner they happen, the better, and the more of them, the better. Because I think that with every mistake becomes a learning, but it's so hard to see in the moment because you feel like such a failure and such a good for nothing piece of shit. I think we can make more mistakes by being a bit less serious. I'm convinced now that surfing is something that I love to do because it's inherently just a very funny concept to me. Like just standing up on a board in the water. So I don't really take it that seriously, which means all the failures and setbacks aren't really that big of a deal to me. But isn't that the same with life? I get that some things need to be handled with more care because they are more meaningful to us. But I think that we make more mistakes when we feel free to do so. And I think that happens when we start caring just a little less. Because I think that life is just generally better when we don't feel the constant pressure to not feel like a useless failure. Finally, I want to say something which I saw the other day, which is that you should look at your life like a story. Chances are your favorite character in a movie or TV show isn't your favorite character because they're perfect or they make no mistakes because flawless characters make for very boring stories. So I think that next time a mistake happens, just view it as part of your story, an inevitable mistake that had to happen for you to become who you want to become. 
and it doesn't mean you suck. Stir me the peace, put some peace of mind. Sleep in the jeans, I'ma need a night. OD on the cheap advice. OC on the cheapest flight. Lately, I've been on the move, trying to get to something. But I told her I've been.